Hey guys, uh, let's dive into the intricate world of Nissan Micra once again and uh, let's now check the idle control valve volt, uh, voltages and uh, resistance. So um, first remove the uh, air filter and then unplug the uh, clip of the idle control valve. Um, so before going into uh, the detail, I will show you that what are the pins of the idle control valve. So these are the five pins and these are the sequential and uh, the uh, pins uh, which are connected with the ECU uh, uh, wires so here are the 111 and 113 wire especially so uh, I use the patch cables for this purpose and cover the uh, heads of the wires uh, because uh, you will not going to short any of the uh, wire especially 2 and 3 and 3 and 4 wire of the idle controller otherwise you will burn out your ECU IC of the idle control valve clear so uh, before going to test the um, uh, idle uh, control valve voltages uh, ensure that your power steering and the uh, AC is properly working without proper AC working you will not get a uh, specific and correct reading so uh, be very careful so now uh, connect the uh, wires and uh, uh, I will show you that how you will connect it so this is the combination that I have used so the leftmost one is the one number cable and uh, the rightmost is the fifth number cable. <coughs> so now the voltage testers take the multimeter and set it to 20 volts. Uh, now uh, these are the uh, uh, different voltage uh, against the pins. So now let's connect uh, the uh, black wire to the ground and uh, start the engine and uh, red wire to the pin number uh, 2 and check the voltages it will normally give you the battery voltage 11.53 is correct voltage and uh, the second is uh, the uh, pin number uh, 4 uh, which will give you around about uh, 5 to 6 volts and in this case it's okay <coughs> so it's normal now turn on the uh, AC or uh, move the power turn on the power steering so uh, or when you check the uh, pin number 2 it will reduce the uh, voltage the, the voltage will automatically decrease basically so this is the correct reading so now uh, again check the pin number 4 and the voltage will increase actually so at this position the voltage is not correct because it must jump to the uh, 6 to 7 volt um, why this is not correct because the AC of this particular engine is not currently working so that's why uh, we are not re getting reading correct reading so uh, now uh, check the resistance in this fashion uh, check the resistance between the pin number two and three pin number three and four and also check the resistance between uh, pin number one and uh, pin number five so here you will get the um, reading between the pin number one and pin number five uh, it will give us the uh, 87 which is uh, normally in the range in, uh, from uh, 90 to 145 so I guess it's uh, it's okay um, and uh, it's depend on the meter as well so the, which kind of meter you are multimeter you are using so check the voltage between the pin number 2 and 3 it will give you uh, the resistance which is in the range is must be in the range so if it deviates so change the idle control valves this means that uh, one of the valve or both of the valves are completely the valve is not working basically the so uh, change the completely idle control valve. I will soon share another sensor uh, reading uh, with you people. Thank, Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please share, like and subscribe. Thank you very much.